Hi friends, it's Jen. Welcome back to my channel and I'm going to share with you what I sold uh, this past week. And just to let you know that I do have the starter store, which is I think 100 items, um, free listings. And just recently, I would say maybe a week or two ago possibly, um, eBay up uh, raise my selling limit to 500 and I didn't put that request in but anyways that's pretty good okay friends so let's get started so the first item that sold for me last week was this Rush Limbaugh it's a vintage tie Rush Limbaugh tie found it at the thrift store for a dollar ninety one sold it for uh, $17.95 uh, I paid for shipping, and uh, that was a nice little deal there. Okay, and next are the cycling shorts, um, Louis Garneau uh, cycling shorts. I found these in the back of the Trailer Man's um, trailer, and I believe back then these were broken down to a nickel, I believe. So this was a nickel, and I uh, sold them for $25.99, and buyer paid shipping. Okay, next is this Kate Spade uh, black leather handbag. I found this back in May in the back of the Trailer Man's um, uh, trailer. And yes, I did get this for a nickel. I believe it was a nickel. And um, it had ink inside of it. And the little metal clasp in the front, if you could see there, it was kind of scuffed. And uh, I mean, it was a nice bag. And then when she passed away, I thought, well, maybe I'll keep it. And then just to say I have something of, you know, a Kate Spade bag. But in actuality, I'm not really a purse person. And, I mean, I would rather have a fanny pack than a purse. And um, so I decided, you know, I was cleaning out my closet. And I decided, you know, I'm not going to keep it. So I put up for auction, for a seven-day auction. Got a, quite a few bids. And it sold for $15.32. And, uh... Buyer paid shipping on this one as well. Next is this Dooney and Burke woman's uh, purse. Um, this one was also on auction. I put on auction. Um, I bought this a couple of months ago for myself at the flea market. I paid $8 for it. And uh, yeah, I was upside down by a dollar. But again, I'm not really a purse person. At that time, I wanted it. It was used um, it was in reasonable condition however like I said I just they're sitting in my closet and I don't really use it as often as I should but um, anyways I just go to my old little trusty backpack style purses I don't like anything off my shoulder which is odd but um, yeah it sold for seven dollars got one bid and buyer paid shipping and it's hopefully bringing somebody else some joy and happiness okay and next is this Harvard uh, University Ivy League t-shirt that I picked out of the trailer man's uh, trailer for a nickel and uh, it sold for 650 buyer paid shipping and it was in really great condition too it wasn't faded at all next are these Eddie Bauer linen pants um, I found in the back of uh, the trailer man's trailer uh, they sold for ten fifty. Buyer paid shipping. Those were really in great condition too. Next are these New Balance women's running shoes. Um, I asked for nineteen ninety five. Uh, I took an offer of uh, what was it fifteen fifty I believe, and these I found at a thrift store for about five dollars. Okay, and if you remember uh, my last haul video from the flea market, I found these Johnny O striped uh, shirts from the trailer man. I picked those out of the back of his trailer. I asked for $29.99 for a lot of four shirts, and I received an offer for $20. Um, so each of those were like a nickel, no, $0.10. Cents. They were $0.10 cents, um, for me, so $0.10 cents a piece. And I figured $5 for each shirt is not bad and, you know, helps me to move the inventory quick. So um, I went ahead and took his offer of $20, buyer paid shipping. 
Okay, friends, so my last sale of the week were these Jessica Simpson uh, nice boots. Um, I found these during the same time I found those New Balance sneakers uh, at the thrift store. These were only $8, and I was wondering what the world is wrong with them, that they're only $8, and it looks like somebody missed the ball on these because these should have at least been $20 at the thrift store. But I snatched them up. For $8, they were in great condition. Maybe it had maybe one or two small little scuffs, but overall it was in great condition. I asked for $46.50. Buyer um, offered uh, $40, and I went ahead and took it, and uh, buyer paid shipping. Okay, friends, so that's it for my sales this past week. Um, sales are getting a little bit better, and, uh, you know, I'm trying to find um, some items that are more worthy of a higher profit margin so I'm just trying it's all about um, it's all about trial and error because I've made some mistakes and you know that's how we learn but anyways I think this week was pretty good again and uh, I'm kind of happy with it and uh, yeah so that is it friends for this week's sales um, I hope you enjoy these type of videos if you do let me know by uh, you know thumbs up in my video and leaving a comment and uh, let me know what you think. Okay, friends, thank you so much for watching and I will catch you in the next video. Bye.